Today we're gonna be doing some DIY. DIY, we're gonna be doing facelifts on water block and radiator. And why am I gonna do a facelift on a water block or radiator, you may ask. And do I mean by facelift like the ones you go to Beverly Hills and get it? No, not that type of facelift. So what I'm doing is I wanna be painting the radiator in all white color. And also I wanna go ahead and paint the water block in all white color. The reason why I'm gonna be doing all this stuff is because the water block and the radiator that I need for my upcoming build, which I already talked about in my previous video, it's gonna be an Alder Lake build, uh, which you guys should definitely subscribe and turn on your notifications so you guys do not miss that, is because they don't have them in that white color and this is gonna be an all white build. So we're gonna have to do some spray painting today and I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to actually detach the metal, metal part of the block um, and spray paint that and also we're gonna spray paint the radiator white with the fins white and you guys may say whoa 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 hold your horses the fins but isn't that where heat gets dissipated out of and true that is but we're gonna see very minimal performance drops on that maybe even nothing to the point where it's margin of error so I'm not really concerned about the you know spray painting the fins I've done it before and everything turned out a okay so what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and grab our hardware and let's go ahead and disassemble we'll start out with the water block first we'll disassemble the water block um, detach it from the block itself and we'll go ahead and start this spray paint process so let me go grab it real quick all right here she is so this is corsair's xg7 water block for your graphics card this is specifically for the rtx strix models um i have a 3090 which we're going to be hooking up this to it and uh, as you guys can tell it's black and black is no bueno we want this to be white because we want it to match all the other components inside the chassis and all the other parts and like i mentioned there is no white version of this. So we gotta do some DIY on this and do some modding, if you will, which I really don't consider this modding, to be honest, because we're not really welding anything or cutting into metal, but it is still a modding project. We're actually gonna be, you know, changing the look of this into a look that we want. So let's go ahead and open this up and we'll see what we are working with. Slice this open. And let's pull this baby out of its packaging. I have not built an all Corsair. Pretty much it's gonna be all Corsair products from fans to water blocks, CPU block, um, radiators, uh, pretty much everything, chassis. It's gonna be all Corsair. I wanted to stick with the ecosystem, if you will. And, you know, didn't wanna mismatch any components. Um, I currently do have an EK water block on my Strix 3090, which has been performing beautifully. And we are gonna test you know, thermals afterwards when I build the system to see what is the big difference. Is there a real difference? Uh, Cause also if you guys don't remember, I do have an active water plate, uh, active cooling plate on the back plate or active cooling back plate on the graphics card. So we'll definitely see what kind of performance we lose um but you know this is the new revised um xg7 if you guys don't remember uh, a lot of youtubers made videos where the old version of these they had some leaking in the terminal but corsair did fix it by adding a third screw into the middle which should solve everything but here it is this is the water block right over here one thing i like about corsair is they already do everything for you so as far as um as far as the thermal pads go, they already pre-apply it right over here. So this should be very easy, even for people that are brand new into it and they've never ever water cooled and they don't want to mess things up. Um, this should be pretty straightforward because Corsair already got your back with this and they've already pre-applied thermal pad. Also, we can see that there is thermal paste right here in the middle. Um, you guys can see this, uh, probably not. But anyway, yes thermal paste already but we will actually take that off i will put my own thermal paste on here when the time comes to attaching this to the graphics card so let's let's not mind that you also get rgb extended cable right over here um so they they throw in a lot of goodies 
packaging. All right, we don't need this stuff. So what we need to really do is unscrew these points right over here. So we got our iFixit kit right over here and we're gonna go ahead and take these off. They should come out pretty easy. Make sure you guys keep the screws somewhere where it won't get lost because we will be assembling everything afterwards. Okay, boom, voila. We took the block out. So we have just the outer part right here which we'll be spray painting and taking care of this. And also what we need to do is get this terminal piece off as well and two cool okay so the end result is this we got one face plate for the water block right over here which will be spray painting and also we got terminals that will be spray painting just so we can get everything to match nice clean a look of superb so guys let's go ahead and jump to the little area i made for painting and let's get the process going. We will first wanna be doing is shake up the can, make sure you guys mix the pan very good. What I'm gonna be using for the paint is gonna be a high heat. This is basically automotive paint, uh, which should be fine for this. And let's start the painting process. So you wanna give it a first light coat and then afterwards, maybe wait 15 minutes, apply the next round. So let's go ahead and just jump in. Let's move these out of the way and let's go for it. So now that we got the first coat on, we're gonna let it chill for 15 minutes and then we're gonna apply a second coat, trying to get these middle areas right here inside the grills of the water block cover. So that way it can all be nice and painted. All right, so we got the front of the water block painted. Now let's go ahead and do the terminals. The terminals are gonna be the same thing, shake your paint, just mix it up and go ahead and just spray paint it. All right, so we got the blocks painted. Now let's go ahead and do the radiator. Same deal with the radiator. Uh, get your paint, shake it up. This is probably gonna run out, but if I run out, I got another one in the back. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and lightly stroke this one. This one is more of a surface area to paint. So you're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna paint one side, wait 15, 20 minutes, flip it, uh, recoat it, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and start this process for this part. So we went ahead and put our first coat. We're gonna let that dry for 15 minutes and we're gonna reapply another coat, trying to get some of the blacks out and try to make it as white as possible. I'm spray painting the fins like I told you guys in the beginning of the video, which I really believe that there is no performance hit when it comes to that. Um, and yeah, guys, so we'll wait until this is dried up and then we'll recoat it one more time. All right, so six to seven hours later, this is what we come up with. So we have an all white painted Corsair XG7 water block for the Strix that we custom painted over here. Um, didn't, didn't really take much time, to be honest with you, or much work, I should say. Time probably took me the whole day, but I made sure to apply one coat, wait 15 minutes, apply the second coat, wait another 30 minutes, and apply the third and last coat, uh, which 
finished it off with a water block and same goes with the radiator radiator i uh, did three coats and it came out really nice i've seen uh these 360 millimeter radiators that actually come in white and this pretty much spot on looks just like that now the reason why i didn't go for a 360 millimeter white version and i painted this one is because i have a 420 millimeter radiator that I had to paint white because Corsair doesn't make white radiators for that size. So I thought, you know, let's get the same um, black radiator for 360 millimeter and paint that as well, just so I can make everything look uh, the same. Because if you guys notice the Corsair emblem here, when you guys purchase it, it will be silver. So this one now just like is white. So I wanted to make sure everything in the system looks good. Um, and that's pretty much, I'm really happy with the results. Uh, didn't, like I said, didn't take a long time. If you're patient enough and you have the time this is definitely doable i really actually learned a lot because this was my first time uh, spray painting a water block uh, for the radiator i've done this before and that's why i spray painted the fins because out of experience i have not seen temperature right like temperature performance uh, losses when it comes to spray painting the fins and yeah that's why i did it this time because pretty much it's like when i've done testing when it comes to spray painted radiators and not uh, spray painted like regular out the box it's literally like one percent off or like one one degree off which is could be margin of error but uh nonetheless everything looks good everything is white just the way i want it because the next build that i'll be doing is going to be all white pc like i mentioned so make sure you guys hit that notification button and stay tuned for that video that's coming up real soon sound down in the comments below what you guys think have you guys done this before are you guys thinking about doing this i'd love to know but other than that guys this was this video and i hope you guys enjoyed it also guys have a great christmas i hope you guys have a great start of the brand new year as well and until next time catch you on the next one